Hi and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. Today we would be discussing longest increasing subsequence. So this problem is a very interesting problem and I would be explaining the solution which uses the concept of binary search because the dynamic programming solution is not the intended one. It is big O of n square. So I would be discussing the binary search one. So this let's jump into the question. So in this question, you are told to find out subsequence. So what do you mean by subsequence? Subsequence are nothing but a part of the array in the same arrangement in the appear in the original array. So one, two, three, four. So one, three and four. They are small parts of the array arranged in the same order as they appear in the original array. And then just one or just one and four, then just one and two, and then we have the whole array. So this is a subsequence, small parts of the array arranged in the same order. Like you can just think of, like this is a human body and a animal just ate me off my neck. So my head and this would be in the same position as they were occurring. So basically we just eat some parts of the array and the remaining parts are in their same place. So if you observe here, three and four is eaten. Here if you observe two and three is eaten. Okay. Here if you observe two, three, four is eaten. Here if you observe two is eaten. Okay. This is how it goes on. So now the very next thing is we are told to find out the longest increasing subsequence. So let us start with the sample test case. So the given sample test case is, okay, so now see carefully. Here, the intuition of using binary search pops in. Let me just show you that. So we are basically building all the increasing subsequence. Okay, first we would find all the increasing subsequence and we would just return the longest one. Okay, so if you are given this in an interview, consider finding all possible subsequence and then finding all the ones which are strictly increasing and then just returning the longest length out of it. So you can find all the subsequence using power set and then you can process it in the same manner and then use the DP approach, which is big of n square. Then you use the binary search up preparation, which is n into log base to n. So now let us start with this. So we have zero itself. Okay, so we know that there is nothing but zero. Okay, and then we have eight itself. So we would just keep here eight. Then we have four. So now four can't be kept here. So we would keep here four. Then we have 12. 12 can be kept here. 12 can be kept here itself. Both the places it can exist. Then we have just two. Two can't be, two can't be there. Okay, because we need to find the strictly increasing. Strictly increasing means in a sorted array, big O of i can't be equal to big O of i plus 1. Basically, the next number should be i th plus 1, not a of i. It can't be the scenario like 2, 2, 2 is not a strictly increasing subsequence. Okay, not a strictly increasing array also. Okay, then we have something like 10. So 10 can be now we are in the very second sample test case because the first one is a little bit big one. The second sample test case is 5, 8, 3, 7, 9 and 1 itself. Okay. So now let's start the processing. So basically we would be building out all the possible subsequence. Very first one is 5. So we would keep here 5 because we don't have any subsequence which has 5. Then we have 8. 8 can be kept after 5. So I just kept it. Then we have 3. 3 can't be kept after 8. So we need to build a new in subsequence out of it. So I kept 3 here. Now I have 7. 7 can only be kept after 3, not after 8 because it would be smaller than 8. So I have 7. Then we have 9. 9 can be kept at both the places. So 9, 9. Then we have just 1. 1 can't exist. So 1 can exist in an individual thing. So the longest possible is 5, 8, 9. So if you observe, this is 5, 8, 9. This is 3, 7, 9 itself. And this is just 1. Okay. So this is how we just output the longest possible. But if you observe, the longest possible subsequence would give you, like if you consider more elements. Okay. More elements 
it just implies that it would be our answer like more the number of elements more is the probability of it as an answer the very next thing is to make the length more if you observe we have 379 okay the idea is that less the value okay less the value of the elements more elements we can accommodate like let's say we have one and then we just had itself nine okay we had nine so we can't accommodate three seven five eight four we can't accommodate that but let's say we have something like let me just show you the example also i think it would become difficult so let's say we have one we have nine and then we have three five seven itself okay so if you observe if i just take after one if i just take nine then I am in loss of three elements. Why? Because three, five, seven, none of the elements can be kept after nine. But these all elements, if I just have it like this, three, five, seven, they would be gifting me something. Okay. They would be gifting me something. So now let's see this and this would give you an idea of what I'm trying to say. So let's say we are just given one. So let's say we are having one. We don't have anything up till now. We have 9. So we would keep here 9. Then we have 3. Okay. We can't keep 3 anywhere. So we need to keep 3 outside it. Then we have 5. And then we have 7 itself. Okay. So what can be the way it can be solved? So it can be seen that the question is just asking me the length of it. So what we can do is. If you observe, like, let's say we start the processing again, but this time I have one, so I would keep here one, then I have nine. So if the next element is greater than the previous element, I would keep it. But now see, three is less than nine. So I want to increase the number. So if I want to increase the number, that just means that I need to lower down the values, less the number, less the weightage of the values more numbers i would be able to accommodate at the end what i can do is i can simply find three and find its designated place okay i can see there's a number which is greater than equal to three greater than equal greater first okay first it is equal first we would try to find three if three is present it is good else we would go for greater so greater than equal to three is nine so we would just have three here at this point. Then we have five and then we have seven. So this finding of designated place, if the number is present, we would hit it. If the number is not present, we would go to the next number, which is greater than that. So this is finding the designated place. And this thing, finding the designated place is done by lower bound. Okay. So the intuition is that I want to increase the elements. To increase the elements, the weightage of each of the elements should be less. So if I find the new element which has less weightage than my current number, I would try to find the designated place and I, I want to just swap the value of that. So I would, I would make that value equal to this designated place. So if I just lower down the value of the current subsequence I am considering, then at the end, it would be my answer. This is it. So basically, this idea is very simple. Just the intuition is a bit difficult. So this is done by using lower bound. Consider learning about lower bound. So we would be using the inbuilt library function of C++ STL. So if you don't know what is lower bound, lower bound is nothing but a sibling of binary search. So if you are going out to learn lower bound, consider learning upper bound and lower bound both because the concept of upper bound and lower bound are very much needed in this era of comparative programming or be it data structures and algorithms. Okay, you would definitely need this to consider learning this in depth. I would have told it, but I won't be able to tell it in depth. This comes like this requires an amount of lecture, amount of big amount of lecture. What you can do is you can find my video on YouTube also. If you're not able to find it, consider asking me on LinkedIn. I would be searching it and I would be giving you. I already have a video over binary search and where I explain binary search, then lower bound and then upper bound. And then you can just come back to this video. Now, what we would be doing is we would building out a new array. 
if we have the current element greater than the last element we would simply append it okay like just what do you mean by append and append is nothing but a fancy word in data structures and algorithms so just keep it at the end okay the very next thing is that the last number is less than the current number last if the current number is less than the last value we just want to find the designated place by lower bound and we would swap it at the end we would just return the length of it do i make sense okay so now let us move to the implementation just remember the intuition we just want to increase the value so now we would initialize a vector because we can find the vector of it so we would have something known as answer and then we would have something like i is equals to zero i is less than n and, and i plus plus okay so we would find the index of it first okay so i would just write ind is equals to lower bound answer dot begin comma answer dot end okay comma a of i so we would just find the designated place of a of i and then we would just subtract answer dot begin answer dot begin okay basically this is the answer dot begin is subtracted to just get the index itself now if this ind is equal to equal to answer dot size that means okay this just basically means okay so i would just say if answer dot so basically if the element is much greater than the last element it would just give you answer dot size itself okay so this just means that the current element is greater than the last element so we would say if ind if the index we are returning is n that just means it is much greater than everyone so that is equal to rest not answer dot size self okay answer dot size then we would simply have answer dot push back a of i because if it is returning something like the last index if it is returning the accident that means it is much greater than all the values of the array okay that is why we are appending it if it is not we would say we would replace the value answer dot ind is equals to a of i itself and then we would at the end we would return answer dot size itself okay seems fine that's it we got an ac at each point we are doing a lower bound so for one element we are doing log base 2 n operation at max so this is big of n into log base 2 n that is log n so if the index so if an element like let's say 1 2 3 5 and if we are searching for something known as 6 so that value we would be pointing at n that is why we are appending it else we are just replacing that value that's it for today thank you and have a nice day.